Hey guys, it's Starry, and I'm going to be bringing you a commentary today while doing the T4 alert. Now, in a T4 alert, personally, I always like to have a tank. The main reason is, for whatever reason I'm doing now, is to pull all the ants away from fate. This makes the healer's life more simple. DPS is more life because I know exactly where to stand. So, if it's having two DPS and trying to kill them as quick as possible, and the healer wasting tons of power to heal fate, just grab one DPS, one tank, and pull them. The lights will burn. And it's pretty much like that. So, again, on the next part. Just pretty much the same, I just keep them and keep pulling towards me. <coughs> now if you're a flyer and you don't have it, I recommend low, low pressure, it's always good as a pull skill. I am an agent of order. So yeah, just spam an inescapable storm. And low pressure. As you can see, Inscapable Storm has a couple second cooldown time. So during that cool cooldown time, I would use low pressure. So there we go, nice and simple. Fate's done. It is unusual that so many souls would vie for a single So now onto the next section. But if you can, for T Fuller, run one tank, one DPS. Let's face it, there's a lot of DPS out there and some tanks don't get a look in these days, so if you can, <coughs> try and include a tank to your group and then you can see why for yourselves that having one tank for the T4 operation makes things so much simpler. Okay, that's what we do with these. Just make sure you pull them to you or you can jump in and then pop reflection. Either way. Either way, they both work. So yeah, this part's pretty much simple, but if you can, I don't recommend going off by yourself though. As you see there, the healer went off by themselves and died. don't recommend flying into the rooftops as well. So since that's a bigger group way bigger group of ads than normal, I use escape or stone and then I used freeze wave. Now the reason why I use freeze wave for is because it's an instant knockdown. It roots or and can encase ads, so it's a very good skill for ad control. We cannot allow Faust to trade these souls. Okay, so now we need to find the cannibal soul. There we go, nice. Let's wait for everyone to get here. As you can see, I'm just going to pop Winter Ward, and I normally would interact with it, but one of them did, so that's okay as well. But as a nice tank though, I always pop Winter Ward just to. Um, stop the instant damage straight away. Also, if you can, don't try and stay near an edge because he's got a horrible knockback and he can send you flying off the roof. Okay, now, so now we're going to be flying to the infused soul. Now on this one you have to be careful though, because a lot they of people come to this to boss the These have been and if you die the villains normally come over to um, from despawn you. So it's always good for the tanks going first instead of doing what the troller did, 
and he tried using the skill which would stun him, but it didn't. Also, this boss has to pull a knock back as well. But as you see for his spin attack, the pop reflection and block during it, and you probably would take like zero to nothing damage. But this boss is very, very much of a pain to aggro. So, as you can see, what I did then, I basically went up to a soul, pulled it towards me. It's always good to lunge the boss every now and again, just to see if you can knock him down as well. As you can see, I lunged him, knocked him down. Unfortunately, I didn't have reflection, but I popped him into wards and blocked, and I was only taking like 130 damage each time. So, for a tank, that's pretty much nothing. See, I always root him in place. that one I wasn't lucky enough to get. Well, I can see like now. A okay, pop reflection and block. I've taken absolutely no damage in from him at all. Will my shield last to revive both? I certainly hope so. Yep, look at that. I managed to get both. During the exorcism, a soul print was created on the astral plane. This print revealed an unnatural torment. That's another reason why to have a tank for in the group as well, in case if that w if I was a DPS and um, those two had died, I most likely wouldn't have been able to revive them. Since I'm a tank and I have reflection, winter ward, I'm able to I was able to revive them. So it's another good point in um, the tank's favour. My divination has detected so now we're going to do 10 residual, f um, <laughs> 10 sorry, spiritual residue. Something in this area is bursting with spiritual energy. Okay, so let's now let's try and find one. Well, there's another group here, so let's try. See if I can get in on their action. That's cool, we might have to get one. Now on this part, if I can, I will show you what I would do, what I normally do. When someone activates it, jump, in skip or stomp, reflection. Now why do, why do I do that for? Well, since you're jumping, you get the extra height and in skip or stomp, storm will lift them up and fling them further back. So that means the person interacting with the spiritual residue is able to do it that much easier and since if I pop reflection it means I take no damage and the healer doesn't need to waste power to heal me for no reason so once again jump Cisco Thorn reflection and they're able to complete an interaction. And I take literally no near nothing, no damage. Getting it done. Okay, now since they're gonna have to interact with it again, whoever started this didn't do too much of a good job. I mean, that's awesome. So now we just wait for someone to start it, and I will pull them to me.
it's just that simple like that really. Well, um, we can make up our mind on which one we're going for. It's just like that. It's just, it's just add control really for the tank. Okay, so there's another one along here. Let's hope people follow. Let's get these cars out of the way. Okay, and pull and shield again. So it's jump, escape, pull, storm, reflection. Okay, so now we need two more. See if we can find them. Now, I popped reflection then, what I shouldn't. It's just reaction. But lucky for me, reflection has a really fast cooldown time, so it's not really too worried. Okay, jump, inescape or storm, reflection. I pulled them, but they killed them at the same time, so that's just awesome. So now let's go on to Grundy. Now if you're new to the game, but they have changed it where Grundy is into an instance now instead of being in the open world. So that means no longer Grundy can be ganged by multiple groups, it's literally just you and your own group fighting to kill Grundy. Okay, so since I have my CC trinket, I just activate Solomon the armor. Does not well, deserve to be a get the friction armor. You must so what I want to do is again, I want to press it again and hold left melee, and I get a self shield. Now, if you're a tank, you don't really have to worry about doing it, but that's just something I like to do because it's a free shield, so why not? You can do it again to get a second shield, but it will stun you. And as a tank, you can't afford to get stunned because you need to maintain the aggro onto you. Okay, so when you have to come out, pull them, and then I use Freeze Wave. Just for ag control. So when they do get up, hopefully they should target me and no one else. The main reason I do that for is when they grandly spawn some mad spores, I put them straight away and that means they will only target me. Well, that's the plan anyway. Now, we seem to be in a very good group, so it's quite nice. Okay, so ads coming out again. So pull, freeze wave. And that allows me just to keep back control. Now you probably don't have to use free fish, but I always like just for the power interaction and to keep him rooted next to Grandy so the DPS can kill him. That was a nice one by Grandy. <laughs> Block counter on all of us. Okay, so pretty much what I'm doing. I'm just going to be using my melee combos and pop a bit of winds. Okay, so it's pull again. Freeze wave. And as you see, the other target to me. Which is nice. I mean, say, leave everyone else alone. And the tank's doing the job right. Now, I really like the shield for tanking though, because it has a lot of knockback in it. Well, okay, guys, I hope this tutorial on the T4 lot for tanking helps. So, until next time, I'll catch you later. I'm <laughs> sorry.
Thank you.